Good morning, to, uh, Tuesday, it's Thursday morning, and I'm uh, going to release my first preliminary forecast for uh, Sunday night through Monday night. This is preliminary, um, it's likely things could possibly change, I hope they don't, I hope I'm right, but given how complicated the situation is, um, I had to take my first best guess estimate looking at everything I could look at, so I looked at every model, every ensemble, and I tried to figure out, okay, what's really going to happen with this system. So I'll show you what I think is going to happen. Here's our actual storm system right now. Uh, the big piece of it, there's a big storm off the Pacific Ocean. This comes in, redevelops in the center part of the country, and then rides the jet stream up into the dome of cold air that will be over our area. So let's use the Canadian model, because I think right now the Canadian model has the best handle on this. It's a compromise between the GFS and European. GFS is the coldest, European is still the warmest. I think this is a good uh, model to look at right now. So here comes our storm system hitting the country, again, not until tomorrow. So the sampling still is not great on the system, which is why it's a tough forecast, just like it was last night. Storm system hits the country, reorganizes itself uh, Sunday night over the uh, central plains. And you can see a little light overrunning precipitation starts on Sunday night, especially by the time we get to, uh, uh, say, 10, 11 o'clock Sunday night, you're going to see uh, snow develop um, in the, our western zones here, uh, Central Pennsylvania, uh, Maryland, this will all be snow to start, as you can see by the um, 850 temps. So anywhere above this line, I expect to be snow. And again, this line I like because it's a compromise between some of the other models I've been looking at. Okay, we then get to 7 a.m. Monday. It's all snow uh, north of uh, maybe Philadelphia, but north of Philadelphia, I think it's all snow. Philadelphia, it's snow mixed with uh, some sleet at times. Um, we go to... Monday 1 p.m., this is where it's heavy snow breaking out all in the northern counties here. This is now ice in here now, so anywhere from northern Delaware to, say, Interstate uh, 78 is ice. So you start a snow, you go to ice, probably a lot of sleet. I don't expect too much freezing rain, probably a lot of sleet with this, so conditions will not be optimal at that time. Uh, we then go to Tuesday, uh, Monday night at 7 o'clock, still heavy snow in North Jersey. Um, as you can see at this time, it's snow again in uh, northern Delaware, 278. So you went to sleet during the day on Monday, and I expect you to go back to snow Monday night. So you start as snow real quickly, quickly change to sleet, and then go back to snow. Northern zones stay all snow throughout the event. And then finally, we have 1 a.m. on Monday, um, or 1 a.m. on Tuesday, I apologize. It's snow in all areas, including central Delaware and down here um, in the Delmarva region. So any snow they didn't get, they'll accumulate at this time. And um, <clears throat> northern zones have had a significant accumulation by then. And finally, the storm should be over um, by daybreak on Tuesday. Okay, so when it's all said and done, I'm expecting precipitation pronounced anywhere from one to one and a half inches for most of this area. And given the ice that's mixing in, I'll show you what that translates to in terms of what I think is going to happen for snowfall. So here's my um, snowfall map, my first snowfall map. Again, this could change. It's very early to put this out. Uh, so this is more of a first guess. This is what I think is going to happen Sunday night through Monday night. Or really, it's too early Tuesday morning. Uh, 12 plus in these areas. So I don't want to get too uh, detailed yet on how much overfoot I think there could be. But 12 plus in these areas. 8 to 12 up here because I think the precipitation shield is going to sharply cut off when we get up into Vermont. 6 to 10 up in Vermont. Mainly because it's higher ratio snows up there. Here, it's, it's lights. It's snow to a lot of ice back to snow. 4 to 8 inches. Uh, 6 to 10. This includes Philadelphia. This is ice mixed in as well, back to snow. Down here, a few inches maybe. I didn't even put anything down here, but actually I should probably write that in. Uh, I would say uh, rain to some sleet and then maybe a few inches on the back end of this storm. Down in, this would be um, extreme southern New Jersey, uh, central southern Delaware, south of Baltimore, Washington. So Baltimore, Washington, I have you in 4 to 8 here. And uh, I think we have a, uh, a, a decent winter storm shaping up here. Uh, the storm is definitely going to occur. It's just where does that Arctic boundary set up? Because if it does set up a little further to the north, then all these amounts will shift to the north. If it's further south, this whole entire um, image shifts to the south, if you get my drift. Now, I've been looking at this other situation here since uh, last week. I think we're going to see another significant storm uh, develop end of next week. Um, this is something I even talked about last week. I think the atmosphere is ripe for this to happen, and this could be uh, another significant snow event. More of a coastal storm, though. This is more of an overrunning event, but this could be more of a, uh, a stronger low-pressure system, meaning more winds, coastal-driven event. Europeans trying to um, set that up here 
So I'm going to keep an eye on that. But first things first, let's focus on Sunday into Monday. I'll have another update uh, tonight. But um, keep checking in. I'll also have updates on Twitter, and we'll see what happens with this system.